So in this video, I'm going to show you my arcade. This is actually a two-piece, so the base actually folds up. You can store that if you want to. This top part is a clamshell. The top will fold over. Um, just bought these buttons on eBay. These are about 60 bucks for the two-player buttons. This is a 28-inch uh, television. And then I actually just have a laptop. You can see I've got a laptop underneath there powering the thing. You can of course use a Raspberry Pi if you like. For the most part I've been using uh, MAME. But, um, so MAME is an emulator. It runs games. It's like a virtual machine. that It pretends to be the arcade machine. But uh, you can actually put a front end on it. So Hyperspin is a uh, nicer user interface and it will launch MAME. Uh, Rocket Launcher can uh, launch other emulators. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So you don't have to have the base. You can just set it on the table. These latches keep it all on there. These latches actually have a little lock on them, so if you wanted to, you can make sure your kids don't run under your here and unlock it and knock it off. Okay, so I should probably give you better diagram, but this at least gives you an idea. I think part of the fun of it is fabricating your own enclosure so don't expect these uh, measurements to all come out you're gonna have to kind of engineer it in your own way but the base was 30 inches high 22 inches deep though everything is 29 inches wide so the uh, main piece six inches high in the front Eight inches high in the back we have a slope here so that's a two inch rise um, this whole thing was 17 inches and then of course this back piece I just made it specifically so that it would fit over this I angled this uh, top a little bit though so that it was flatter So I drew a line where I wanted it, then I used a clamp to hold the board in place while I drilled a pilot hole and put a couple screws in it. Here's the other half over here. Alright, get your template. You can uh, print these off of the internet. Just search for arcade button placement. I actually moved mine a little bit. I kind of have a smaller hand than some people, but I uh, decided to customize it a little bit for, for my hand. So then I just jabbed through with a pin. So the wire with all of the plugs uh, daisy chained on it is the common wire. So that actually goes on the top of every one of these switches. So here's my USB uh, joystick controller. As you can see, <coughs> ground is down in this corner. 
then we're starting with right left down up so here's the little wiring harness that has four wires I'm gonna push up so that's that go ahead and connect this wire so this one's ready to go right in the top here player 0 is actually the first player player P1 is actually the second player so I'm starting over here P0 so you can see I have lots of wires hooked up to switches once you get it up and running in Windows you can just go to game controllers pick the top one and try it out buttons once you get one exactly how you like it I'm gonna just trace it flip it over and trace it because there's a finished side of the plywood and a rough side so um, flip it over the way then cut this sucker out and do a lot of sanding so unfortunately for the hinges to work the way I want I had to inset them the only two ways I really know how to do that is either with a hammer and a chisel or luckily I have a hand planer that uh, it's a little messy but um, I think it's going to save me a lot of time. So, so of course it's upside down right now, but it's on its back. So there's the... Seems to work pretty good. So if I would have known the size that I was going to try to jam this in there, I'd... You can see it barely fits in there. So in order to hold this woofer in there, I decided I was just gonna screw into it. So I took a peek in there to make sure that I wasn't gonna screw into a circuit board or something. to me right there So I have six latches to keep this thing all held together. So the problem with the laptop is the power button is inside here. So since there was some damage already to the case, I didn't have trouble uh, uh, putting a little connector here to, to the power button that I can put on a button on the side. So I got a poster on off of eBay. This is actually high gloss, like kind of a pretty nice photo paper. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half though. This is spray adhesive. Mm -hmm. You can get it at a hobby store. Hobby Lobby. <laughs> 